Some pressure now from Yugoslavia. Skola loses the ball. And there's a big tussle on the floor. Loose ball. And Divac. Divac is fouled. Luis Skola reached in. The foul was called. And Luis Skola thought he got a layup there. But Skola has gone. Five fouls. Well, it was mayhem then. And the Yugoslav players can't believe what they're looking at. No foul there, no foul there. And Skola reaches in and grabs Divac's arm. Well, any foul could have been called there. It's absolute bedlam on the floor. Skola thought he got a layup to win the game. And the foul was called. Coach Magnano there wants to get Montecchia in for some defense, I suspect. And well, Magneto there offers his prayers. Luis Scola has gone 11 points, but he's not going to score any more. Vladi Divac for Yugoslavia to take the lead. Oh, Vladi! Just under six seconds remaining. Vladi Divac misses the first of the foul shots. A clutch foul shot. Oh! And he's missed the second as well and Argentina get the rebound no foul there and oh there's a foul there is a there's no call nothing has been called the referee signals the period is over and the Argentinian players are surrounding Mr. Pitzelkas the Greek referee Sanchez is having a right go at him nothing called well, if we get a chance to see a replay of that. Oh, Mr. Pitsilkas, he's been surrounded by Argentinian players and officials. And the Yugoslav fans, I think they're cheering more in relief than anything else. No foul call there. And who comes across? Well, it's Jaric. Hits the man attempting to make a layup, and nothing is called. Again, if we get a chance to see that. I don't think time had expired. Have a look. Well, it's Marco Jaric comes across, and I tell you what, there were eight tenths of a second remaining when that contact occurred, but there was no call. That is astonishing. 